Ukraine could block Crimea this year. Military expert. Sahiz Guretz, Ukrainian military expert, noted that 2024 is not associated with large-scale offensive actions of the Ukrainian armed forces. He shared his opinion with Espresso TV. Ukraine's military leadership has stated the need to implement a mobile defense strategy. The main task at the current stage is to deplete the enemy as much as possible and create the preconditions for offensive actions. President Zelensky also mentioned this, but the timing for offensive actions remains uncertain. Ukraine currently lacks sufficient reserves, even with the 14 brigades that require Western assistance to be fully manned. Therefore, this year is not expected to see large-scale offensive actions by the Ukrainian armed forces. However, mobile defense in certain tactical areas aimed at destroying the enemy will be implemented this year, Zaguret said. According to a military expert, Ukraine has a chance to block Crimea using long-range systems, drones and other methods. This could make Crimea a bargaining chip in negotiations with Russia, potentially influencing the negotiating position. Changes on the front line through offensive actions of the Ukrainian armed forces this year are hardly possible or advisable. Our military leadership understands this. On the other hand, our partners must understand that holding the front line and destroying the enemy in the maximum possible number depends on the effectiveness of European and American assistance, emphasized Zaguretz. Last week marked another milestone in the Battle of the Black Sea as the Russian Navy reportedly withdrew its last remaining patrol ship from occupied Crimea. The news was announced by Ukrainian Navy spokesperson Dmitro Pletenchuk, who signaled the historic nature of the Russian retreat with the words, Remember this day. The withdrawal of Russian warships from Crimea is the latest indication that, against all odds, Ukraine is actually winning the war at sea. When the full-scale invasion began, the Russian Black Sea Fleet had 74 warships, most of which were based at ports in Russian-occupied Crimea. In a little over two years, Ukraine managed to sink or damage around one-third of these ships. In the second half of 2023, reports were already emerging of Russian warships being hurriedly moved across the Black Sea from Crimea to the relative safety of Novorossiysk in Russia. By March 2024, the Russian Black Sea fleet had become functionally inactive. According to the British Ministry of Defense, Ukraine's remarkable success in the Battle of the Black Sea has had significant practical implications for the wider war. It has disrupted Russian logistics and hindered the resupply of Russian troops in southern Ukraine, while limiting Russia's ability to bomb Ukrainian targets from warships armed with cruise missiles. At least three people were killed and scores more injured in Israeli airstrikes on a Yemeni port. 87 wounded in Israeli air attacks that targeted an oil storage facility and power plant in the port city of Hodeida, officials said. Israeli raids also caused injuries in southern Lebanon. It happened a day after the Iran-backed group claimed a deadly attack on the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. Defense Minister Yov Gallant said his country aimed to send a message to the Houthi movement. The fire that is currently burning in Hodeida, is seen across the Middle East and the significance is clear, he said. Houthi official Mohammed Abdul Salam said that the Israeli strikes were aimed at pressuring the Houthis to stop supporting the Palestinians in Gaza, something he said would not happen. It is the first time Israel has responded directly to what it says have been hundreds of Yemeni drone and missile attacks aimed at its territory in recent months. Footage from Hodeida showed huge fires raging on Saturday evening. The Houthiran government in Sana'a said Israel struck oil storage facilities close to the shore, as well as a nearby power plant. A number of military targets were hit in the port city of Hodeida in western Yemen, a Houthi stronghold, the Israeli army said, adding that its military operation was in response to hundreds of attacks against Israel in recent months. The Houthis attacked us over 200 times. The first time that they harmed an Israeli citizen, we struck them, Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant said in a statement. And we will do this in any place where it may be required. Israel's military said it alone carried out the strikes and, our friends were updated. An Israeli Defense Forces official didn't say how many sites were targeted, but told journalists that the port is the main entry point for Iranian weapons. The official didn't say whether it was Israel's first attack on Yemen.
ابناء استهداف ميناء الحديده بغارات الطيران الصهيوني الامريكي